How's it going, YouTube? Decided to do a sin cut video today because I'd say sin cut might be the best knife company in the $40 range. I think I can confidently say that as far as build quality and yeah, just great knives. So I'm going to do my four favorite. Um, this is all the ones I got. I don't have them all, unfortunately, but can't buy every knife. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with number four. Start with number four, the, and my newest one. This is the Sinka Vesperon. I had to buy two different versions just to get the my card of the satin. Added a clip to it. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. This one is 7.84 inches. So pretty much full size. Um, already sharpened it and spent a lot of time on it. I think I cut it in a sharpening tool too. Yeah, I did. But yeah, this one would probably be a little bit higher up if it had a little bit better access to the liner lock. I could still get to it alright, but if I had on gloves or something, wouldn't be happening. Um, love knives with the hole cut out. That's my favorite. Um, yeah, nothing really crazy about this knife. It's just a good looking knife. Uh, comfortable in hand. Um, yeah, and it's a non CR18 MOV, so not D2. So, 3.35 inch blade. This, uh, the micarta version is 4165, but it comes with a black blade. So, if you want satin, you know what to do like me. Spend $80. <laughs> All right, number four, let's go to number three. Number three, I got the Sinca Actium. Um, I prefer it had a satin or a stonewash blade, but I really wanted purple, so I just dealt with it. Didn't feel like buying two on this one. What makes this one cool is the super thin hollow grind. Um, it's hard to show it on camera, but Sinka and Civivi do some of the thinnest hollow grinds, and uh, yeah, they ought to make a slicer, that's for sure. This one retails for $39.75, and it's got a D2 blade, 3.46 inch D2, and overall length of 7.99, so pretty much 8 inches. Kind of got a harpoon shaped blade almost, really good looking blade, you got multiple deployment options the thumb studs and the flipper tab and decent access to the lock bar and um, it's black wash so it'll hide cuts a little bit better than just plain black so yeah it's number three a great knife uh, I'd recommend for sure Back to the Actium for a second. I was going to put this one on the list, the Slashkin, but very crappy liner lock access, so picked the Actium over it for sure. All right, number two. This was my favorite for a long time, the Sincut Watuga. It's just got the coolest looking blade out of all of them. Horncliffe. Um, you got these little cutouts for finger flicking. Carta, which I love, and um, button lock, really popular. Um, honestly, if it was a liner lock, I'd still love it just as much because it's just a good looking knife. Um, this one's D2, got a 3.48 inch blade, and it retails for $47.50. The this version does, and uh, yeah, um, quite a bit of button stick on the sin cut knives don't love that but it doesn't really hurt the knife still functions just as well just a little annoying and this one might be first if it was non CR over D2 I added the Civivi titanium clip fits very well so yeah highly recommendable and the last one might be surprising. 
It's uh, also a newer one, the Syncup Mims. This one's in my card as well. Um, $45 for this version. You got a couple deployment options. You got your flipper tab and your hole cutout, which is my favorite. This is just a good looking design. Got a nice, I guess you'd call it drop point. Close to a spear point. Blade, you got a finger chul. Also a good sharpening chul. Um, yeah, good access to the liner lock. Also added the clip to this one. They start to get expensive when you start adding clips, but yep, this one's forty-five dollars. I think I already said that. Three point four eight inch nine CR eighteen NMOV blade. So that got a few extra points for that. And this one is eight point zero six inches, so full size knife. Got your lanyard hole, no backspacer. If the liners would have been inset, that would have made it even cooler. Yeah, really slicey. What not to love about this one. Um, been nice if they had a few more options. Maybe a micarta with satin or stone wash. They'll, they're getting to where they're only dropping three or four different versions. A jade, a black G10, a wood, and one micarta. And it's usually got a black blade, but kind of a black wash. If it is very lightly done, but yeah. So here's my top four. But honestly, I, all the sink cut knives I have are really good. Just depends on if it's your kind of taste. But yeah, the sachet could have made this list very well. Uh, Bronte is really cool. And the Honors is not far from the Mims. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I will link these four down below. Maybe the clips too, if I remember. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram, it's linked down below. And give me a like or a comment. Let me know what your favorite sync cut is. Thanks.